After only getting a couple hours of rest, today was the big day to visit the pyramids, so I got up and began my journey north to the Teotihuacan pyramids. On my second day, I was getting pretty good at using the metro system. It was the morning rush at 8am and I had to battle through the crowds of people to reach my destination. And I'm on my way this morning to the pyramids on the metro bus. To go to the pyramids, you go on the metro system to Autobuses Norte and there you catch a bus. This is the bus terminal right here. Good morning here, I'm starting my journey to the pyramids. You have to catch one of these buses to the north. This bus counter had buses going to San Juan, which was next to the pyramids. Only 52 pesos one way. I arrived just in time as everyone was lined up to board the bus. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenos días. Hey. I got my ticket now to the pyramids. It's going to take a one hour journey. The one hour journey took us out of town to the town of San Juan, which was next to the pyramids. Here it is. Here's the entrance to Teotihuacan Pyramid. It's the bus I took. It just takes one hour. I arrived here now to the pyramids. Just waiting for the group to arrive. I'm gonna go all the way to the top again. So that's gonna be fun. About three metros and one bus to get here, so not too bad. Wow, I made it to Teotihuacan. A second time. First time was in 2006, now 2020. Mexico was my first country to visit. Now I'm wrapping it up after my last country was visited a couple weeks ago. I plan to hike to the top of this pyramid and also this one over there. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Yo estoy bien, ¿tú? Okay, bien también. Gracias. Sí. ¿Cuál pirámide es el sol? ¿Esto? Este es el sol. Y esa es la luna. La luna. Y esa es que exaltó hasta el fondo. Yo espero mis amigos. Okay. Ahora. Gracias. I'm gonna first climb to the Pyramid of the Sun. That's the biggest one, of course. <laughs> so, hola, ¿cómo estás, chicas? Um, yes? Bien, sí. <laughs> okay, uh, mi nombre es Jason, ¿y tú? Evelyn. Katia. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Eh, 17. Yo tengo 16. ¿Y cuántos años tú piensas yo? <laughs> 19. ¿19? Yes. 36. Do you have surprise? Yes! Ah, okay. <laughs> These pyramids were built in 100 BC until about 250 AD, but were destroyed around 550 AD. Around 100 years ago, they were remodeled and shaped like they are today. So it's almost 2,000 years old. They divided the stairwell. There's more space to come down there than there is to go up. There's so many tourists that it's just bottlenecked. Here's the top of the Pyramid of the Sun, and from here you can see Pyramid of the Moon. It's not as tall actually, but I'm gonna go visit it anyways. The tourists love taking photos here. It's their thing. And there's also people that like to do yoga here too. You can find all kinds of people here. Another photo opportunity. Here we are at the top of the pyramid. I was able to meet a uh, German. What's your name? Ah, uh, my name is Ingo. All right. So, how long are you in Mexico for? I'm here since five days, but I intend to stay for another five weeks. Who do you think your next city will be? Uh, for sure, my next city is uh, Puebla. Then I will continue to Oaxaca. Oh, okay. Oaxaca has pyramids too. Yeah, I know. But I have to return home for work. work. Yeah, let's call uh, it work. But weeks. after you retire, you can. Uh, I am retired. Oh, really? <laughs> Even if you're retired, you still have commitments. Oh, uh, yes, of course. But there is no law that say that commitments shouldn't be fun. Yeah, all right, great. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah, it was a pleasure. See you around. And after being up there for one hour, I finally spotted my friend. Oh, well, that was lucky. Elida was observing the panoramic scenes together with her co-workers. So I decided to climb up the rock and surprise her. Hello, my name is Ingo. My German friend, I met him here. Oh, I thought it would be really difficult to find you. Uh, uh, I can't find internet. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, that's right. I know, but there's only one way and one way down. Yeah, yeah. All right, you can use Was it difficult to climb up? Yeah. It's not difficult, but it is tiring. After meeting her at the top, we made our way down slowly to walk to the next pyramid. Well, it's sure busy here. Did you buy one of them? No, no. No? What is it? The noise. Huh, okay. <laughs> that, <laughs> that the noise is... Uh, it's a uh, war. So when they start a war, they make this noise? Yeah, like to create fear oh. with the animals. Did you buy anything so far? Yes, I did. Oh, souvenirs. What is that? It is that Is war. that the noise? Yeah, that one. <laughs> Have you been able to try it? I'll try that now. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Oh, this is the rest of the crew. Yes. Your name? My name's Smai. Hakan. Hakan. And the Turkish Airlines. All right. So almost everyone is here in the crew. Huh? It's a nice tour. Then it was portrait time, posing in front of the pyramid. The first officer was also a photographer. So he gave me some tips on my new camera. I just got this camera, so... Alrighty. Yeah, we are ready. Uh, moon pyramid. That's next? Yeah. How'd you like the sun pyramid? This is uh, so high. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, so high and tiring. Ah, so this one's easier. Uh, yeah. <laughs> At the end of the walkway, also known as the boulevard, was the Pyramid of the Moon. The Moon Pyramid is not so big, and it's also restricted, so you can only climb on this small pyramid. And it's one of the steeper ones too. Here's the side view. I got the idea of how long would it take me to run up to the top. And there I was. Here I would start my run to the top. Let's see how long it would take. <laughs> All right, I made it. 20 seconds. <laughs> come on, come on. To this platform which overlooks the grounds over here. Some enjoyed hiking, others enjoyed resting. At 7,000 feet above sea level, some of us would get sunburnt by the end of the day. Looking back towards the Pyramid of the Sun, there were sure a lot of people. Judging by the way Kurai walked down from the pyramid, these stairs were really steep. Are we finished the tour? Yes, I'm happy uh, to finish the tour. Because <laughs> I'm hungry, uh, we want to uh, try taco, and we're going to taco. <laughs> <laughs> but not Taco Bell. Taco Bell, maybe. Yeah. Taco Bell? Mexican What's... taco. Mexican taco? Uh, okay, what's the Taco Bell? Taco Bell is a chain in the US. It's like a restaurant chain like McDonald's. Ah. This road takes us where? Texas? Where is this road going? Uh, like Texas, uh, huh? Not Texas. <laughs> <laughs> takes us. <laughs> Your accent is very different. Well... <laughs> we will meet uh, our... Driver? Yeah. So it's okay if I make a video about this trip? Yeah. Do you know uh, this language? No. Ushakja. Is that your language? Yeah, Ushakja. Oh, okay. I'm from Ushak, you know? Uh, Ushak is neighbors Izmir. How many hours? Two. Two hours wow. by car. Yeah. Do you ever fly to Ushak? Sometimes. Is that your favorite destination? Just, uh, yeah, <laughs> Turkish Airlines have just three flights in a week. Oh man, you can go home for the weekend. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. If uh, weekend is my off day. Have you done that before? Yeah. Okay. Just one time. Hola, amigo. One dollar. Oh. No thanks. So you hope you become famous? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I want to be bloggers. <laughs> <laughs> this one? 120 pesos. 120 pesos? 400 pesos. 100 pesos. And in our country, bargaining is sacred. 
you must give us a nice price. And 100 is too much for us. Yes. And we'll be buying a lot of things. So come us with a good price. The price is 124 pieces. Hatta bize 5 lira, 2 lira daha verirler. Where is the spray? Spray here. What's it good for? Coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're all safe, right? For our safety. Everybody's safety. safety. <laughs> The tour had been a success. I had spent three hours at the pyramids, but of course, if you wanted to visit them quickly, it could be done in one hour. That was great. Good tour? Yeah, I like it. Okay, the first pyramid you visited? Oh, first time in Mexico. Mexico also. Okay, good. And thus, we returned back to Mexico City to find the taco shop. Hey, but where did you buy the mask? The work gave it to you? Let me see. Ah, oh, professional. <laughs> All the crew members got masks? No, just uh, fully Asian country, yeah. Oh, Asian country. Oh, so... <laughs> After the one-hour van ride back into the city, we returned to the hotel to freshen up before going out to tacos, passing by this florist shop along the way. While waiting for our group to assemble outside the hotel, we spotted a flight crew arriving at the hotel. It looked like they were the ANA crew arriving from Tokyo. The cabin crew did their precautions with the coronavirus by all wearing face masks even after getting off the plane. They didn't want to take any chances. So who's our tour guide for the tacos? Our person. What taco will you get? Most popular. But, yeah, so, so popular. I expect this. delicious. Delicious? Yeah. But do you like spicy? Yes. Yeah? No uh, chili. No chili. chili. Okay. Are you excited for taco? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> do you know quesadilla? Yeah, quesadilla with cheese. Uh, famous in Mexico or? Very Africa? famous. Mexico. Yeah, that's where it started okay. here. But now it's worldwide. What is different from taco? Uh, quesadilla has cheese and it's uh, smaller, I think. We arrived to Casa de Tonio, so popular there was even a line. There were 15 in our group, so he made a reservation for us. We all took a seat and placed our orders. This customer noticed the camera. And while the waiter was serving us, he also noticed it. There were tacos, quesadillas, and other Mexican favorites to choose from on the menu. The group enjoyed the meal as it was their first time in Mexico. As for me, I sat next to Elida and ordered an orange juice and later a bean and potato taco. <laughs> Okay, great. See you in the next country. <laughs> and that ended my two-day visit to see Elida. However, I still had the rest of the day, plus tomorrow, left in Mexico City. On my way back to the metro, I came across a marching demonstration. Who knows what they were demonstrating about, but they sure attracted a large audience and a large crowd. Well, after all, Mexico City was a large city with a population including the urban area of 21 million people. On the way to the metro, you could see this wall that had Aztec designs engraved into the stones. Getting on the metro, it was so crowded. At first it was fun, but after a while I got tired of the large crowds. But I went through the routine, made my transit, transferred to the next metro, and made it to my destination. I got a corner on the top with Chile, Limon, Isal, es bueno, gracias. Cuanto es? Getting some potato chips here. Está bien? Gracias. Bueno. So I moved places to another place in Mexico City and my clothes told me to stay here. And I ordered this nice taco. It has avocado, rice, and beans. All kinds of salsas here. So I'm waiting here until he arrives. I ate here at La Chula. It's pretty good. Hey, thanks for recommending me La Chula. Yeah, that's exactly what I got, a vegetarian taco. Mm -hmm. So we have here chamomile and cinnamon tea, fresh from the rooftop. Well, this is gonna taste really good. 
Yeah, so we'll steep it for like so five minutes. So what are we making here? This is the vegetables with uh, also sauce. Oh, that's pretty good. What's that unusual vegetable that you put in there? Chayote. Chayote. It's special for Mexico? Same. Sí. Maybe I should eat more chayote because it's healthy. So then this is your quesadilla that you made. Mm -hmm. You just put cheese in the middle and that's it. That's a sí. quesadilla. Well, well, oh, that's easy. So what kind of diet do you follow? Are you eat any food? I'm 80% vegetarian. Uh, 30% I eat meat. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for day 3 when Lucio takes me out to street food for breakfast and then I make my way to the airport, stopping to talk to a rose vendor, getting the shoe shine, and drinking another glass of fresh orange juice before catching my flight back home.